All right, y'all, I'm Amia Moore, and today I really wanted to come on here and share with you guys an updated version of my in-home daycare tour. Now, before I get into this video, I just want to share something with you guys. I have been doing this for almost three years, and when I say this, I mean operating as a daycare owner and a daycare provider. But I am still learning so much throughout this entire process. And with that being said, my setup will not be perfect, and it will always have room for improvement. But it doesn't stop me from being proud of how far I've come today. So let me just say that I am super excited to show you guys these changes. It's been it's been a great journey. I'm not gonna lie. And I hope you guys liked this video and let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing we have is our little doorbell system. So for one, I love this so much because it starts recording whenever there's any motion around the doorbell. I get to talk to people through the app and also it alerts me if anyone pushes the doorbell. Right when you walk in, you see my daycare closet with a bunch of handprints around it for decoration. I absolutely love this for whatever reason. And then to the left of that, you see what was supposed to be a filing system, but it didn't happen like that. Um, so I just put a bunch of registration papers here just in case like, you know, parents wanted to enroll once they do a tour and that's what that is for. To the left of that, you see my parent board, but we're gonna skip by that. Right below that, we have two containers from Walmart filled with diapers, pull-ups, wipes, just whatever is donated or left over. Um, most of my kids are in the middle of potty training or just finished, so a lot of them are no longer using these items, so this is where I store them. All right, so back in the center and then to your right, whenever you first walk in, we have our cubbies. Now, don't come for me, these aren't labeled yet, but up here is normally our Germex, our thermometers, and I keep our iPad up here for myself or the parents to sign the kids in. Okay, y'all, so coming into the daycare is where you will see more changes. I'm super excited about them. But over here in the corner is our changing table and under it is um, diapers, pull-ups, and wipes for kids that's either transitioning or just simply still in uh, diapers. And yeah, so that's that. And in this area, I don't think I made much of a change besides the curtains, I believe, but this is still our reading area. I added this toy that was donated by a parent and we moved these whenever um, I put new books in. So the books reflect what we're learning about in the case like to come over here and look at the pictures or just sit with their friends and go through the pages. And over here to the right of that is our grocery store. Now this is probably one of the most popular centers in the home and especially because they have the little basket with all the different foods like ice cream, bananas, bread, tortillas, like all that, that they love. They have the credit card and the credit card machine. And then we have our fruits and vegetables and they love sorting them. So that's that and then over here, we have our tool section, which is another popular area. And on the wall, we have our uh, shapes and that came from Amazon. And by the way, a lot of things will be in the description box. And then as for the TV, we use this for nap time, the kid yoga, educational videos, especially whenever um, I'm showing a video of the animal that we're learning about that week. And then over here we have some baking items and the reason why that's over here because two of my older kids really love to do that with play-doh and then we have our number puzzles which they absolutely love and some magnets so yeah this side is just a bunch of random things i'm not gonna lie um we have puzzles over here that they go and get by themselves we have poppets um we have our play-doh and so we also have like a bunch of random like boats airplanes and stuff in there we have our lock so 
These locks are super popular and I use them all the time to keep the kids like engaged when we're learning. And the locks have the uppercase letter on there and then the keys have the lowercase letter. So at the bottom of, of one of these cubbies is filled with stuffed animals for our animal center that we don't take out every day just because of germs and needing to wash after they use and all that other stuff. But over here is a bunch of random things, including uh, music in the corner. And then right here we have our puzzle. So the kids have the responsibility and choice of picking their own puzzle, taking it apart, putting it together and putting it back all on their own unless they absolutely need my help. Right next to that is our chairs and our tables. They are not labeled. So the green table is for the older kids, the blue table is for the younger kids. Um, I hardly ever have problems with assigned seating. They come in, they get their chairs, they sit in their seats, and I think they just love having the responsibility of getting it on their own, to be honest. Okay, so if you watched my first daycare tour, then you may remember that I started with this. Oh my God, y'all, it just came so far. Um, but this these are my Legos and my blocks and this container over here is like a bunch of random different colors because we have enough to make its own and we use this a lot for learning and for playing when it comes to sorting counting sorting colors counting building whatever it is that grabs their attention we do um, at one point the kids would even like <laughs> randomly pick up two colors like, oh, this could, these two colors make this. So we get very creative with the toys that we have. And then this toy organizer over here is a little bit empty, mainly because, um, when emptying out those toys, I realized I wanted to put, um, toys that kind of challenge the kids a little bit more and get away from those random toys. Um, and we have more handprints in our classroom rules. Um, a purifier which works wonders I'm not going to even lie to y'all y'all gotta get y'all one and then right below that we have two shelves with extra blankets and extra mats oh y'all don't mind my stairs but <laughs> over on this wall we have two shelves now both of these shelves are mad unorganized uh, we have our brush your teeth. I just thought that was really cute to put up there. I'm not going to get into everything on the shelf because, like I said, it's just super unorganized. But I am going to get into this potty training chart, y'all. This works wonders for me. Every time I have a kid that's just starting out, they love doing the smiley faces every single time for the different reasons. I do recommend this. I'm not going to even lie. I take it down and they get to do it themselves and they love it. A bunch of random things, arts and crafts. And then we have our books down here and uh, um, we have our books that I read to them. We pick one a day. We have our circle time sentence that they look forward to every single morning. And don't let me be late. <laughs> don't let me be late on it. Uh, <laughs> Over here on the other side, we just have like random cleaning supplies. I, however, one of my favorites has been the green and uh, clear bottle, Mrs. Mayer, Meyer. I can't remember how to pronounce it, but I absolutely love using those. Um, like I said, y'all, it's very unorganized. Um, but our puzzle area, because my kids love puzzles so much, we actually uh, use these a lot, and I like to give it to them because uh, I have different age groups to challenge them, and then we just have. Uh, more games, puzzles, whatever, um, crayons, markers, just a bunch of random stuff, like I said. Okay, walking into the play area, you see my desk, you see posters, you see alphabet, you see a, a quite a bit, to be honest. This is the free play area. Um, so down here on my desk, you see a bunch of binders. I keep this organized for whenever state comes. I don't have to look around for anything in the corner you we have the printer and i tried to tidy up a little bit because it's just be messy sometimes and then you have my laptop and my ipad i bring the ipad in there because i like to update or i try to update the kids day um you have a bunch of tables and just a bunch of different items a washer and dryer kitchen um baby stuff dinosaurs you have a little bit of everything in this room. We have bricks, cars, it's just, y'all, That the bricks has to be like the only thing, it's kind of like directed, the kids know they can't just pull that out or pull them down because it gets crazy with those bricks. Um, back here we have two kitchens. We have one that the younger kids like to play with and the other, the older kids like to play with. In here we try to keep our kitchen stuff, but y'all, it's been a struggle. 
it's been a struggle. Um, but the kids absolutely love playing house and washing and taking care of the baby and just doing a bunch of different things. Um, their imaginations run wild. Um, over here we have Mr. Potato Head, Barbies, um, we have the cleaning supplies. We just have a good bit. All right, so in the kitchen we have our first aid cabinet and on the very bottom shelf is our gloves, a first aid kit, thermometers, and then a bunch of different items. Some of those items are for me, I'm not gonna lie. And then on the second shelf we have extra cotton balls, some sippy cups, and up at the very top is our, um, our paint. And then immediately to the left of that is our daycare cabinet. And in here I have um, different snacks. I have our utensils, our cups, our plates. And then at the very top is our canned fruits and vegetables and other snacks. Um, and that's just in case um, any fruits or vegetables go bad, like the fresh ones go bad. Um, I just like to always have a backup. Or Okay, so through the kitchen around the corner is our bathroom. Now, before you come in here, do not judge because it is a lot going on, but this is where the kids come to potty. We have our green and white stepping stool, and then we have our blue and white potty seat and also our princess potty seat. Now, we are in the process of finding the perfect potty seat now that we have some boys and they're not really feeling this and we can't keep using the princess one. So... Yeah, we figured it out. All right, so we have our gray stepping stool. They come up here, they wash their hands. I give them a paper towel and we continue on with our Just day. a quick update. We have upgraded to this toilet seat and oh my God, it's a must have. Okay, so this is our outside area. It has changed a lot. I've gotten rid of some things. I've added some things. Um, but yeah, this is what the backyard was looking like. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and stay to the end. So if you're watching this, thank you so much. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.